it goes down in the DMs. Honey, the DMs are where your coins really are. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Vanessa and I help entrepreneurs and content creators overcome obstacles and find clarity to keep building. The first thing you want to do if you're creating an Instagram page that's specifically for your business is to deliver value for free. Don't just make posts advertising whatever it is you sell. So for example, if you sell earrings, you want to show your followers five ways that this earring can be styled. If you are a financial educator like I am, then you want to tell people six ways that they can get better with saving their money. Basically, you want your audience to already start seeing you as the go-to for a specific type type of information even before you ever say that you sell something to them that way they would feel the need to spread the word to their friends in their stories or in group chats because they like your content and they're connecting with you for the value that you provide most people don't share ads but they would definitely share five ways to turn a scarf into a blouse because it's cool and it's fascinating number two is to show behind the scenes in your stories people like to connect with other people more than they even like to connect with brands. So if in your stories you show that you're a normal person just running a business, you can show them how you're packaging behind the scenes, basically content that makes your audience realize that you're actually a person. That way they feel connected with you and sometimes it even makes them feel like they're your friends. And what do friends do? They support each other. And number three is actually related to stories. When you post a lot on your stories, people tend to interact with you more in the DMs than they do in the comments which is a really good thing because most people are shy and wouldn't ask the kind of questions that they want to ask like what is the price of your coaching service or how can I style this dress they would not be able to ask these things in the comment section because they don't want people to know that they're asking but if they connect with you through the DMs they will be freer to ask these questions and that has multiple benefits one you get to pitch your product or your service through an intimate connection in the DM section and two when you send DMs to someone and and they send DMs back to you, that tells Instagram that this person is your close friend or what I like to call your fan. And the thing about fans and close friends is that whenever you post on Instagram, Instagram doesn't show your post to all your followers at the same time. Instagram usually shows your posts first to people who engage with you on an intimate level. So through DMs, people who are in your private stories and things like that. So make sure that you're communicating with your audience very frequently so that when you post, your post will go to them and they would actually see it and two so that you can close sales because the truth is it goes down in the dms honey the dms are where your coins really are number four is to have a call to action in your captions it's nice to tell really cute stories that are relatable but make sure you end it with something that you want your audience to do it can be for them to leave a comment it can be for them to share the post it can be for them to send you a dm if they have further questions which i really advise because like i said it goes down in the DMs because if you post and walk away your audience might not know what to do with that post you would think they do but they have other things on their mind so tell them exactly what you want them to do and if your post is already good and they already got value out of it nine times out of ten they would be willing to do what it is that you're asking them to do and number five is to drive other people's traffic to your page through live now when you go on Instagram live with other people their audience gets notified that you're live and if they like your live session they could become your audience too number six is to leverage content like reels and videos and stories because Instagram recently announced that they would be prioritizing videos over photos I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please don't forget to give it a like I love you guys very very much and I would see you in my next video until next time take care